Solving 2D and 3D vector equations using Solve. This is a pretty quick little video we've got going here. What I'm going to do first is um, set up a couple of vectors. So here we've got particle A. Um, it's uh, leaving for 2. And um, it's let's use S. Where are you? S. So um, this is the time for the first one multiplied by... Um, its velocity, which is negative 1 over 2, negative 1 over 2. And we'll store that one, so we'll use the store into um, variable A. Um, done. And then let's do the same thing. So off we go again. We are going to take um, the second particle, which is leaving negative 5, 2, so negative 5 over 2. And then that one will use t as its time parameter, t multiplied by, back to math 2, uh, its velocity is 1, 1, so 1 over 1 here. And we'll store that as b. So basically we've got a and b are the two um, positions of this particle at any time. And we want to find where their paths cross and maybe whether they collide. So all we have to do is come down and start off math 1, we'll have a solve. And we simply want to know when is A equal to B. So when are their paths in the same place at the same time. Now the two variables we want to solve for, so comma, and this is the only thing you might not work out by yourself. If we go to math 2, uh, math 3, here we go. We use curly brackets and in there we say which variables we want to solve for. So only two dimensions and we've only got two here. The first is S and the second is T. And our work is done. We press go. And it says, right, these um, the paths intersect when s is 3 and t is 6. So that means if we take, say, um, the particle b here and substitute in, so um, from uh, math 3, there's the old given over here, that t is equal to 6, um, then they intersect at 1, 8. Obviously, um, we could have done that on the fly. If we'd had a solve... And then we'd just taken our first vector equation equal to our second vector equation like this. And then at the end of all of that, put what we want to solve for um, and press go. It does the same thing, but you see it just goes off the screen and I'm kind of keen to see what I'm up to normally. So I prefer to do the slightly abbreviated version there. Obviously, it's a 1.8. We could have also solved for S. So if I grab a copy of this fella down, uh, drop it in there, and do the same thing. So from the keyboard, given, now what was the value? Oh, here it is. S is equal to 3. Um, you can see, uh, if you're the doubting type, that obviously both particles are at 1.8 at some time on their journey. This one is there after 6 seconds, so this one got there first after 3 seconds. And we're done.